Here's a quick instruction on how to make tracks for a tractor, which are made of multiple of the same pieces. How do we do that within FreeCAD? Go to the tractor construction set page on the wiki, OSC wiki. Go to the part library. And in the gallery, you see the file track cs.fcstd, track construction set in FreeCAD, that is. So download that, click on that, download it. And here you go, this is the actual file. What it shows is a, a poly line generated within the Sketcher workbench. So in, within Sketcher, if you want to draw yourself any poly line, uh, that is this tool right here. Why is it not showing up? Um, Click, click the polyline tool. Then you can draw just about anything you like and go back to here. So uh, let's quit out of those. Polyline tool is activated by Sketcher Workbench. Just click on the new sketch. So say uh, I'm actually in XZ plane right here. Um, but yeah, then you can draw with a polyline tool that's how I drew the track. I basically just went, okay, here's my track shape, whatever shape you want to draw. Then you can do the path array around that. So I can close this, but here's my path array from before. This is the more realistic track from before, so I'll just use this. What you need to do is go to draft workbench. The path array tool is within draft workbench, and it's this tool uh, right here right before the clone, this tool right there. What you do is select the object first. So I select the object. Then I select the path around which I want to stretch that object around. So that's the path. I selected that in tree view. I'll do that again. So in tree view, I select uh, tree view is right here. So I select the track first, then select the sketch, which I drew and then simply click the path array tool. There it is. Now it gave me only four of those. So there's two things I need to do. First, enlarge the number of those because we want more track pads. And second, select true for alignment. So instead of false, select that to be true. And then the tracks should align accordingly. So there they went. Uh, and the way it happens, the it aligned it right to the top of the trackpad. Well, that's okay, but that works. So now increase the count, say 34. So you wait a little bit, and there we go. We got a 34-fold track uh, ready to go. We can now import this into our tractor design.